think I've been stood up again. Just embrace who you are, mate. Guys, this is Ollie. Ollie, this is the family. Hi. You're gonna tell her, because it's you who's caused this. She can't know. It's just a tease. Just tell her you're confused, so you say. But we dated a couple of times. You should know by now that you can't trust anybody. They are all in on it. You I'm the one that I feel. I'm the one they pay. Thing you mean Jack Drake, then of course it's taken care of. I've got a job I want you to do for me. Arrange the deal. You'll get someone to come and deliver you. And that person turns up and you use that knife and you get the job done, right? I was meant to meet up with this guy who I've been talking to for a few weeks now. And I guess I bottled it. Don't make me go back on my own. I suppose it's getting late and I've got nothing else to do. So. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there you are. Okay, Sandra, this is one for you. You're good at geography. Mm -hmm. Capital of Austria. Vienna. Are you sure? Yep. Just been talking to Audrey and how her and Roy have booked for two weeks in Cuba. Well, good for them, no? And then she starts talking about the move and saying, oh, I can't believe you've moved over there. The woman was fishing for information. Okay, so what did you tell her? Nothing, I just changed the subject. I don't see what the big deal is you just telling her. Oh, you've got to be joking. She'll hold it over me for the rest of my life. She always likes to be one up on me, my sister. Look, don't let it bother you. We have a roof over our head, we have food in the fridge, okay, just about. That's all that matters. Yes, I know. But think of where we came from and how we ended up here. Don't get me started. The company was making cuts. They had to let me go. Oh, I know, but think of all the hours you put in. I just think it's shocking the way they dumped you like that. I mean, it's not as if they've got, got hundreds of, of structural engineers in the country, is it? Okay, Tremolo's 1970s hit. Be my baby? No. No, it's not. Oh! Silence it's is golden. 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 Yes. Brilliant. I've only got two more to get. <laughs> Now do you believe me? You're on to them now. Yeah, I know. I know, I've done well. I never said you'd done well. This is only the start. There are more of them. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Oh, look at the amount of people who just stand and laugh at you. There are loads of them. You're going to be weak and just stand for that. No, of course not. I just need time. Time. No, excuses, excuses. In other words, you can't handle it. 
You're useless. What a waste of space. No, no, I'm not. I'm not useless. Fat, ugly waste of space. You can't do anything right. <laughs> you are vile. No wonder you've never had a girlfriend. You're a virgin. <laughs> 19 years old and a virgin. Can you blame people for laughing at you? Sniggering when your back is turned. Shut up! Oh, Glenn the Virgin. I bet you wouldn't even know what to do if a woman came near you. Would you? Would you? You wouldn't, would you? I said shut up! Hi Glenn, I've just come to check to see if uh, your mum's cat is in, w in, in one of the boxes in the cupboard. Ollie, you gonna hurry up? I'm gonna be late for the film. Yeah, sorry. Who you text me? Uh, it's just work stuff. I'll, I'll be down in a minute. You'd have a word with your boss. Why? Well. You don't get paid to do work in your free time. Yeah, no, it's my fault. I, I just get so into it. Really? I never knew insurance could be so interesting. It's not about the actual work. It's, it's my mate Tyler. I'm seeing how he's settling in his new role at the London office. Uh, he's the one that rents the house to my aunt and uncle, isn't he? I'll be down in a minute. Alright, okay. I swear you're addicted to that phone. Ready to go shopping? They should have some discounted items out by now. Oh, don't! You know how I feel about that. Oh, for goodness sake. Look, Sandra, have you noticed there's something not quite right with Glenn? Oh, it's this move, isn't it? He's just a bit upset, that's all. No, no, he's, he's really withdrawn. I just went upstairs just to check out for your cat. And he was there, and he was just staring right into space. Oh, leave him alone. It'd be all right. It's the shock of the move. It's been a shock to him. It's been a shock to everybody. But it's just his way of dealing with it. Adjusting to the, you know, the surroundings, that's all. I guess so. Well, come on, anyway. Let's go. <sighs> Get the bag. Going to Aldi, then, are we? Again. Oh, I'm just off to meet this bird as well. She's she wants me to like be in her YouTube video or something. Should be alright. <laughs> nah, not like that, mate. She just talks all this shit and all that stuff. But I'll tell you what, she's probably like seven in bed. One of the best shows I've had. Oi, oi. Ready to make you famous, then? Yeah, I guess so. Where is it? There's a spot down there where you should record. Sweet, yeah, nice. I mean, to be fair, the money will come in handy. You can't justify this, Troy. How can you go through with this? She's got a point, you know. Have you thought about what could happen? Don't shut up, Rocky, bruv. No one asked you. I'm just saying, it's risky. I have to say, Court, there's not really much choice here. You know, the Armstrongs, they're an absolute head case. The Davisons, they do all the dirty work. My dad's seen this guy before, he's borrowed money and, you know, it's, it's not gone down well. He's never forgot it in a day in his life. L look at it like this, okay? Goes down. None of this can come back on any of us. How do you know? It could be a setup. Right, cool. Why would they set me up? 
What? That makes no sense. What have they got to set me up for? It's the Armstrongs. They're setting up the Armstrongs. They've got to be. Where is the money anyway? Don't worry about that. I've got that sorted. You, you checked that it was real, right? Obviously. Come on. Of you to my subscribers. Like an interview sort of thing. Okay, sweet, yeah. Right. Hey guys, Emmy here. And today's vlog's quite special. I'd like you all to meet someone. This is Hayden Fox. Say hi. Hey, you are. So, Hayden, what is your favourite colour? Okay, what's your favourite drink? Vodka lemonade, easy. <laughs> so, if you could be an animal, what would you be and why? Um, probably be an owl, because I'm up all night. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, Hayden, what do you think about women? Well, I like women, obviously. Okay, but I mean more like, what do you actually think of them? Like, why do you use women for sex? Use women? Yeah. Why do you use them for sex? Like, they're just an object and don't actually have any feelings. What are you on about? Oh, come on, Hayden. It's a simple question. You have used me like a piece of meat and you've done the same to 56 of them, to be exact. Oh, anything to say about that, Hayden? Oh, don't be shy. I'm now. sure Fuck people would love off to right know. <laughs> you see this? This is Hayden's little trophy book where he keeps the name of all the girls Which he slept with and that? rates them out of ten. Give me that fucking, you fucking dirty Oh, bitch. walk away, Hayden. You walk away. <laughs> you see that right there, everyone? That's the guy I trusted only to find out he was using me with every single other girl he's ever met. God, thank God I'm through with him. I am a person. A person who is feeling. I wanted to make this video to show everyone, show them that there are people in the world who don't give a shit about anyone, don't care, just think it's some little game. But you know, it's not a game to the people whose lives you're messing with. And you know what? I now know this is not my fault. It's really not. There are bad people in the world. Point proven. That scum right there. Bad person. And you know what? You can't let bad triumph. And that's why I now know that it's time to start living because I am a survivor. It's Lily Rose. She has really bad jaundice at the moment. We need to get there really quick, urgently. Oh, oh. Uh, right, I'll tell you what. You go and I will literally catch you up in a minute. Really? Right. Well, what's more important than this? Just please trust me on this, okay? I promise. Oh, I will catch up. Jack!